Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin wa sallallahu wasallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in ma ba'd ahabbtu fillah I came across a beautiful risala or treaties and we're going to study this treaties and benefit from this treaties a treaties from one of our mashayikh of ahlus sunnati wal jamaa Sheikh Bedr ibn Ali ibn Taymi al-Utaybi Hafizullah ta'ala and this treatise is a one of the attempts from our ulama to yu'allij or to give medicine for the sickness that we have of attacking the honor of one another and uh, ill representing salafi or misrepresenting da'wah to ahlus sunnah the da'wah to kitabillah wa sunnah to rasul sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam the shaykh entitled his treaties arhamu wa salafiya fa inna minkum munaffirin have mercy upon salafiya for verily amongst you is those who cause people to flee from salafia and how many of us have had this uh, experience with our experience in dealing with some of our brothers and sisters from the dawa and perhaps we ourselves have fallen into this by not representing the book of allah and the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the madhhab of the salaf of this ummah radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in by being harsh with the people by speaking ill of the people by the people only seeing one aspect of the deen and seeing examples of people being severe and harsh and punishing the people instead of calling the people to the book and the sunnah so this is one of the attempts amongst the many treaties and some of the ones we've studied on nasiha by sheikhna sheikh ibrahim rahili hafizallah ta'ala uh rifqin Baina Ahlus Sunnah by Sheikh Abdul Masin Al Abad, Hafizullah Taala, and many other treaties. Those are treaties that we've studied, and you'll find these durus that we've already covered them. You know, we've read through some of them, and and made ta'likat or just uh, uh, brought out and emphasized things. And this is what we're going to do with this treaties in order to affirm for us that the Madhab of Ahlus Sunnah is the Hak. It's the truth. And our role is to call people to good with gentleness and kindness and not be harsh and scaring the people away as some of the people fall into and we perhaps ourselves have fallen into and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us the sheikh began the treaties he said and i also want to mention that this treaties can be downloaded from medina.com and this is where i uh, i received the treaties and it's a fantastic uh, translation by one of our brothers and may Allah preserve all the uh, people of Ahlus Sunnah and the Muslims everywhere and guide those non-Muslims to Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the Shaykh began the treaties he said فَإِنَّ مِنْ أَعْظَمْ نِعْمِ اللَّهِ عَلَى الْعَبْدِ عَلَى الْعَبْدِ مُسْلِمْ أَنْ يُوَفَّقُهُ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى إِلَى سَبِيلَ التَّوْحِيدِ وَالسُنَّةِ وَيُجَنَّبُهُ مَسَالِكْ أَحْلَى الْأَحْوَى ثم يستقيم على ذلك ولا يحيد عنه يمينا او شمالا the sheikh began his treaties ikhwan fi allah by saying after praising allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and giving salawat upon the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said from the greatest blessings of Allah upon every Muslim worshiper is that Allah the most high guides him to the path of tawhid and sunnah and keeps him safe from the paths of the people of innovation or deviation after this Allah guides him by making him firm upon the path of tawhid and sunnah not wavering right or left this is a blessing because if a person begins upon the sunnah for a period of time and then he slips and then he slips up towards evil he will be like those people who commit evil actions considering them to be good deeds 
He thinks his actions are according to Islam and the Sunnah, and yet they are not. He considers his action to be from Salafiyyah, whereas in reality, his actions are far from Salafiyyah. This is a very important ishara from the Shaykh, Hafizullah Ta'ala, illustrating, uh, illustrating the point that Ahlul Sunnah, that as uh, individuals adhering to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that we can fall astray. A person can be guided and then they can go off the path of guidance or fall into a mistake. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam said, Kulu ibn Adam khatla wa khayran khatayina tawabun. All the children of Adam make mistakes and the best of those who uh, make mistakes or sin is those who repent. So someone from Ahl Sunnah can go astray. Someone from Ahl Sunnah can fall into bid'ah. Someone from Ahl Sunnah can deviate. But it's upon us as individuals to strive our utmost to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, come back to the Quran and the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and come back to the true dawah, dawah to Ahl Sunnah, dawah to Salafiyyah. Ahabat to Fillah, the Shaykh also mentioned in that, which is very important, is that when a person goes astray from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after having been guided, after that ni'mah of tawheed and the ni'mah of the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that one of the ways in which uh, a person might deviate is that they become extreme or that the, the opposite or they become mutasahil, mutasahil and that they become too easy or they become too extreme as the ulama say la ifrat wa la tafrit not being uh, too extreme and not being too easy to where you throw away the principles and so it's imperative for us to understand this and understand also that this happens sometimes sometimes we fall into things and we become extreme and we treat our brothers and sisters by being extreme instead of giving them the medicine showing kindness and gentleness with them in a in a time when it may be more appropriate to be kind and gentle and they may accept that from us and accept the dawah we choose the other way we become harsh with them and in other times we're so easy that the people can't under, they can't distinguish between bid'ah wa sunnah because we just let everything go oh brother it's okay you're still a, a believer. I know you're praying to the grave or Sayyid uh, Bedawi or you, you're, you're, you believe you can tawassal bil mate, you can, you know, uh, uh, seek uh, intercession from the dead, you know, but we're all brothers in Islam, Shia, Sunni, it, it doesn't matter. These kind of things, this is the other extreme of Habit of Allah. So uh, as we mentioned, two extremes, going too extreme and the other way being too easy to where you let bid'ah and khurafat, you go, let that go, and it becomes a part of your minhaj, a way of your methodology in practicing the deen. And then, as the Sheikh mentioned, he said, and then he considers his actions to be from Salafiyya. Whereas in reality, his actions are far from Salafiyyah. So a person can be very harsh and staunch, thinking that this is from the Sunnah. But in fact, it's not from Salafiyyah. It's not from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And likewise, a person can be mumayya, as they say. They can be too uh, light with the principles of the Sunnah. The principles that are established in the religion uh, that are derived from the Quran and derived from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and derived from the understanding of the Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Anu Majma'een and those who came after them in righteousness these principles of the deen some people they discard them and a classic example would be the methodology of Akhwan Muslimin that they suffer they although they have things they fall into extremism some of them some of them are, are, are are uh, very active takfiris, but some of them, many, their their asal of their minhaj is built upon uh, just everyone uniting on the same dawah under one umbrella, regardless Sunni, Shi'i. Uh, you know, this one calls to the graves. This one, uh, you know, does uh, you know is is a harsh uh, jihadi takfiri this one is uh, from this group this one is from this group so they put them all together 
And this is a major mistake and a mistake in minhaj. Then on top of that, they call that salafiyya. So habati filah, beware of that. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And we'll do our best to keep these sittings very short, hopefully under 10 minutes a sitting. And we'll go through this very short and brief and beneficial treaties.